This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of AI Somnium. In the last episode, we finished Oda's story that ended, well, bittersweet in a way. You know, Mayumi still has her dementia, but Oda learned that his that he is like everything to Mayumi, and hopefully he'll be a better person, at least in this in this world, in this road. You know, getting a part-time job to help out, still trying to write, but trying to keep it small scale. But at the very end of the tale, we found that Iris had grabbed the knife and that uh, the, uh, Ry Ryuji or whatever had swallowed the eye or, yeah, Renju or whatever, had swallowed the eye of his wife Shoko, whether he did it himself or someone shoved his mouth. But either way, the tale was finished there. But we're not done yet. Yeah, I decided to do, if you'd be surprised, the final bit of the last episode have extra tacked on despite me to be the ending because I wasn't... I thought it was going to continue on, and I realized it went to an end screen. I was like, and I was recording the episode as it happened. I was like, oh, I'll just delete the dial. I'll, I'll probably just delete my commentary and just finish it there and just call it a surprise or something like that. So, yeah, sorry about that. I was, I didn't expect to just end like that. So, yeah, look, wow, look at the split off there. So, yeah, that's the Ota end right there is the end end showed. So, yeah, I was, yeah, well, like, where were we at? We were here, and then it ended. Yeah, well. Like, this is what I get for not like looking slightly ahead, but I didn't want to do that just to. Um, oh yeah, I forgot you could look at case files and stuff like that. Dante finishes the sink with Miyumi. The Somnium was not what was expected, but Dante was still happy with how things turned out. Oda was almost certainly not the culprit. Dante visited Oda with Miyumi, where everything was explained. Oda recounted the memory of the Oda Roki man chocolate and apologized to Miyumi for everything. For perhaps the first time, it felt like they both truly understood each other. Dade left them in the hospital room with the joyous laughter echoing from behind them. Hmm. But anyway, um, so now we go back and do the, I guess, consider the, the true path or something. Well, there is kind of a truth path that I'm aware of, and we could go and do this uh, quick ending there because I think this is pretty short. But let's continue on with the main plot, and then we'll finish all the loose ends later. Uh, but what we need to do here is begin the sink all over again. Um, yeah, it talks about you, most of the case files kind of give you a brief description of what's happening here, but let's begin the sink. And this time we need to solve it slightly differently from before. And luckily, we don't have to find any secrets or anything like that because we've already done that the first time. So we just have to solve it um, a different method this time. And you know, remember for those who watched that episode, um, we didn't check the oil drum, so that's clearly the obvious one that probably starts off path number two, from what I understand, so. Alright. No, oh, second, the game glitched for a second. <laughs> Alright, and if you remember, let's go check on Iris so we can get a couple of the cheap timies, so we can actually survive this. Um, luckily, we don't need to beat this. We don't have to have more than one second in this case, so. See, I don't know if the different endings still tie into the major plot, or if it's just such a surprise that the game ends. Like, I wonder if the idea is that maybe, well, no, that would that wouldn't work on the Sojo so stuff. So, I was almost thinking maybe the idea was maybe uh, Renju killed himself course, or something like that, but took her took her with me, uh, took her with him or something like that. But uh, no. Nah. Well, anyway, let's jump on this. Alright, so that should be... Yeah, then it splits off to the two mental locks. Alright. Yeah, okay, still try... I wonder what this plate does. Probably nothing. Let's see. Punch and wipe off is probably the same thing. So let's see what breathe on does. Probably nothing. Probably says like D or something like that, yeah. D. Yeah, D's don't really do it for me. They have to be at least an F. There is no end to your desire. Oh, back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Didn't he say when he got C's, he's like, I prefer D's. And he's like, you know what? I want to prefer the F's. I'm like, an oil well. Drum, though it is lying down. You gotta aim high, Air Force, I guess, in this case. Hmm. Smell, well, we gotta smell it. I mean, that's just... This is obvious, man. Um, oh. We'll save the... Uh, yeah, we'll smell it first. There's nothing inside, but it smells like rotten fruit. Did it have fruit in it before? Maybe. Or something that smells like it. Not sure what that could mean. An 
Well, let's uh, try to fill it with something. Fill it with gr good old, good old graciousness. War has changed. What is this all of a sudden? A cardboard box would suit the mood better. So war has changed with cardboard boxes and oil drums? Well, yeah. Sounds peaceful. But enough of that. What do we do now? Is that a Solid Snake or, or a, a Fallout reference? I'm not sure. But <laughs> war. War never changes. An oil drum. Oh, right. Uh, let's keep this rolling, rolling, rolling. Eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa. St stand your ground. Odamatsu Shida cowers to no one. Yep, that's it. So that. So the drum is the one that sets up uh, path number two. So it show him the letter A on the drum because it brought him in the I church. have to fight back with something! Alright. Well, what do we got? What is it? Oh, the verb. No, I think this one, obviously, because of the... Because of the situation, assume gets solved differently than the previous one, so... Because nothing else has been added, so... All right, let's see what the remote control has to offer. A remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. Isn't there a movie called that or something like that about a people that gets uh, tra like get sucked through all these different channels? I don't remember if the movie was good, but as a kid I thought it was interesting because you know they did to different channels. They went to like a cartoon world and all that sort of stuff. I think it was like a like a I wouldn't say horror, but it was almost like a thriller because the whole idea they could get killed. At least it presented itself as more scary than a standard like oh wacky hijinks at least that's how i felt as a kid although it's been forever since i watched it so mm. well uh i don't know let's uh let's see let's investigate i guess this remote control is for the crane you can move the crane with it Okay. Uh, why don't we just uh what is the uh, what is pressing the button do? Hmm, nothing is happening. Maybe there's no power. Oh, wait, did a remote can did, this, did something get at Oh, the power board, I didn't notice that. For some reason I didn't notice that it opened. Well, let's a see if anything control. else is on this. Uh, let's try breaking it. I was stupid. So stupid. Don't blame yourself. No, no. It has to be this way. I see. I think I accept responsibility for your not actions because someone else told you to do it. Anyway, let's uh maybe it's the power board this time. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't notice that before. It appears to be a power panel. Hmm. Jump, pray, throw something. Uh, well, let's jump at it, I guess. I can make it now. Ah! Sailing jump! Float! Enough. You've done well. You've done well, Padawan. It appears to be a Don't give in to your silliness anymore. 
All right, let's pray. Please move. Miracles and magic are real. No, they aren't. Yeah, they aren't. Sorry, sorry, it kitties. It's not. Sorry, kitties. This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. All we have to do is just power it on, but obviously we can't. We're too small to mess with it, so. Now it will move. I, I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. This is annoying. Okay, and I assume we have to do something similar to like what we did before. Encourage the, we gotta encourage the poor boy. He don't know what he'd do. Unless there's a, you know, we could try it again and see if anything happens from press. Probably nothing happens, I assume. Here it goes. I hear some sounds, but no response. I'm not sure I should press it. Ota might need to. Yeah, Ota. He needs to be the hero of this story, apparently. Oh, even though no one wants him to be a hero. He cannot stand. Uh, what did we do last time? We Do we motivate him or Oh no, I think we calmed him before. So let's uh I don't know, let's uh let's cheer, I guess. Boom boom sis boom ba. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa! Awaken the soul! Dante, you've hit the limit. Time's up. Wait. I can almost make out their face. Kyoder, force shutdown. Stop. Stop it. Apparently on this path he almost opens it before he got he got too close and then bam Scott stabbed. Sneaky snick, bitch. What were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. 
This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. Thought they tried to get the truth so hard in this pathway that he, he risked a, a lot of things to do it, but uh, yeah, it was, it was for not really. He didn't even see the face. Okay, let's check everything before. I wish I could climb up on that table and fly around the world on it with Tessa. What kind of fantasy is that? Well, too bad. That's not happening in this playthrough because you're not getting... Well, actually, you technically didn't get a happy end because because Iris and that ending probably was not maybe not the killer, but worked with the killer because she's the one who grabbed the knife, so... Many objects are scattered on the table, so yeah, not a... He thought it was a happy ending, but not quite. I guess even though you get the... You almost get a storybook ending, but it doesn't quite... <laughs> it's not like what you wanted it to be. Did you hear something just now? I did not. Perhaps you're imagining it. Perhaps it's the maid in the locker that was mentioned in a previous episode or uh, scene or whatever. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I thought I saw a green a little bit. Huh. Oh, it's just the monitor, which we could see somewhere else, but might as well get it now since we've seen it. Boss looks more upset than angry right now. Well, she. Almost lost her, uh, lost her favorite boy toy, or one she likes to mess with, so... I opened it up. It's stuffed with mysterious mushrooms. Ooh. Dante, right. look! That haunted girl is crawling out of the well! Well, why not give knife hunting a whirl? Are you glitching out or something? No, there's a. Uh, they made that reference already multiple times about the ring or whatever. All right, snail shelf in the wall. Uh, oh, door. Sink room. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought I saw. Oh, chair. Was that it? I could swear something else popped up. Oh, there's pewter. Oh, maybe I'm imagining things. I'm imagining things, I am. Says I. Shush, I, shush, I, shush, I, shush, I. Okay, nothing. It's hi it's hiding like, all the chair. Ooh, binders. A binder. It's a sync manual. You and yours can sync too in five easy steps. Peter's calm as usual. Got my brain waves notice. It's all right. It's all right. As I mentioned earlier, both your brain waves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Well, we're still on a case. We can't do it that easily. Sorry, sorry, hotness. I didn't mean to mess myself up. I know up. it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Or you can lick my shoes. Either or. I vowed to never apologize for anything ever again. So you either have to pay for a meal or or get or get femdomed. Mm, decisions, decisions. I'd rather pay for the meal, personally. But to each his own. After the sink, Oda changed into his usual clothes. He try he looks tired sitting on the chair. How are you feeling, buddy? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. What about your stab wound? My what? 
Oh, oh, it hurts. It started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date. Don't blame me, that was boss. I'll sue you for this! Oh, come on. Or, how about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. I see Ota is back to his healthy self. Guess so. I, I did like to see, if you looked up in time to see Boss, she, she points her finger and going, me? <laughs> that was kind of funny. You know, I, I do like how the game does have, like, the characters, even if they don't speak, they have they have mannerisms, either they're looking at you or them, or they make hand gestures. Not all the time, but sometimes, you know. It's a nice little detail. Why are you hiding the knife in your room? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. I would think so. You're too much of a nerd, Oda. I mean, a, a neat or whatever. That's called her otaku. Anyway, about the hook in the polar bear's lake. What, did that happen? Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you. I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relayed the information to Boss and Pewter. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? <sighs> what? Date, what is the matter? Hey, are you all right? <laughs> Dot day residence, Tuesday, eight oh two AM. Hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suzuki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? 
They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Hmm. So that sinking almost uh, did something irreparable. Well, hopefully that never happens again, but... Uh, let's keep looking around and see if anything new, com comedic-wise, popped up. Oops. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, you can... It's always interesting how, like, one little thing in the Somnium completely changes the, the story, like, where it goes. And yeah, wise... Uh, Story-wise, anyway. Now we don't even... Now we're not even checking on Miyumi or anything like that, because that's not what... That's not something that came up, so... Um, during the thing. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just interesting. Uh, hollow. Table. Carpet. Munching on carpet. Audio file. Gross. Uh, Perhaps. <laughs> yep. Oh, zips. Zuki. The bed. Oh, can't check that light. The door. Kitchen. Yeah, just trying to go over it. Over hood to catch to catch all those like smokes and everything, so it doesn't it doesn't stain your ceiling. Uh, sake pot. Uh, yes. Yeah, I really know comedic responses on this one. Oh well. Mizuki, Mizuki is sitting at the edge of the bed. Don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? Taking the day off for morning. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. I see. Well, you can be a real asshole, Mizuki. There, see? See how that feels? Anyway, where's Oda? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Well, Boss knows best, I guess. Same as Mother, I guess. Did Boss and Peter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. So they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Well, work is never done, I guess. Time to get back. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Dante, please. Yeah, sorry, bud. No, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, shit. Dang it, we have to. Boo. Anyway. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Jesus? Santa Claus? The Easter Bunny? Krampus? Tell Mizuki that you'll take- No! No! She's she's in a mood, she's, she's, high, she's active, she's emotional, it only adds, it only take, cause trouble. But no, we gotta take her with you. It's an anime thing to do. Well, or buddy cop movies, one of the two. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you, Date. Now we're just gonna shoot her up with Elephant Tranquilizer to make sure she's out for most of that, though. I got up and grabbed the towel from the sink and tossed it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with the towel and smiled weakly. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. She looks like she washed her face. She's ready! Oh boy. Oh, wah! Got a whole set of places to go. Well, our job's not done, and now we need to find out about a man who's got a pretty deep wound in their... Or a man or woman who's got a deep wound in their leg, because we still don't know who it is. So, in the next episode of AI The Somnia Files, back to footwork again. Hooray! Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.